All right, hello again, everybody. We are back. It's your friend Will. This is the Memory Lapse. We are still streaming. We are still playing. We are we are crossing our fingers that we're going to get a second win here and break even on the day, or for the day, for once in the day, I should say. After a couple one-two performances, we are trying to redeem ourselves with green white. And we basically got a freebie. Watsi heard your complaints that uh, the prize support was being reduced and they just paired us against someone with no rares in their deck. And said, here you go, have some prizes. And this looks like a keeper here. I guess the question is... Yeah, I guess we're not going to flower turn one. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Got a Boros deck here. Okay, so we're going to drop a Mara next turn. And then we are hoping to find some Conclave Tribunals. Though so, Amara into History into Loxodon into Tristani could be very good. Tristani is probably going to be what it takes to even up this game. Their board, though, the thing that I like here is that our Amara can attack and start generating tokens. Uh, no, now maybe not. <clears throat> Ooh. So we take four. Oh, interesting. So they're playing like a really aggressive, low to the ground take on green white. Hmm. <clears throat> so the question is do we play healer? Do we play history here? If we play history, yeah. So we play history. And next turn we can play Vanguard and Loxodon, I think. I think we're going to attack. So they block. We're actually okay with that. We want to kind of keep the board smaller. <clears throat> Johnny. Johnny is a little bit... That's a little tough. Assuming they're going to plus here. Yeah. This is, this is probably... Yeah, being on the draw here... <clears throat> I think hurts us a little bit. So we play this guy, tap one. Do we leave this to block? Probably. Yeah, I guess we should just tap them all. But this sets us up for a really good attack next turn. <clears throat> And if we draw Tristani especially, it's a very, very good attack next turn. Otherwise, we can flower in history. But this way we can chump block here. We're not forced to block with the Loxodon. And attacking for them comes with a little bit of a cost because now they have to decide how much they care about defending their Ajani.
All right, so they're just going to attack with the Healer's Hawk. This kind of makes sense. So we draw a flower. <clears throat> Think about our attack here. Probably just attacking with everything, everything but the one one. Let's go five. Definitely want to get the Ajani off the board. If they block here, we have to let the Vanguard go. But we're going to play History. Basic planes. So the ball asks, is there a patch yet? No, they actually announced that they're pushing the patch. So if you check out the <clears throat> official Twitter account, you'll see that they're pushing back the update because people were really upset about the changes to competitive constructed and the removal of ICRs and stuff. So uh yeah, go check that out. Looks like they are delaying. I, I mean, I think they could have still put in the UI patch, but probably all of that's rolled into the same, uh, the same push. They can't just like, it's not modular like that. So, if they want to not do one part of it, they just have to not do any of it and figure out. I don't know. Maybe they'll do a patch over the weekend to push the UI stuff. <clears throat> That'd be great. All right, so Conclave Tribunal is a very good draw for us. Let's get the Healer's Hawk off the board. I think I just want to attack like this because if they take the four life, that's kind of okay. Uh, yeah, we need to start chunking them down because we're gonna have a good push next turn if we draw a land with flourish. We'll have a really good push. Or Tristani's gonna grow the team too. <clears throat> So they're gonna take seven plus four, 11. <clears throat> That's really nice for us. If they move the patch to a d date next week where they're gonna update ranked, like if they just decide to roll back everything but the changes to prizes, then it would be really fun to have a day where we just stream trying to grind rank. Ooh, March. Luckily we're not dead. I don't think. We have just enough blockers here to leave us living. Now, if they have Flourish, okay. Whew. <clears throat> hmm. 
If we block here, do they pay for? Mm, probably just best to do this. Okay. So if we go like this, <clears throat> I think we just leave the locks on back. We just want to only attack with the Vigilance creatures. I guess I should have played the Tristani main phase, but I kind of wanted to like... I didn't want to represent that we had this. I don't think the plus one plus one is going to matter too much here, because they're probably just chump blocking. I doubt they're going to gang block. And I don't want them to know that we're going to make such a big... Uh, Add so much board presence with this Tristani. Oh, okay. So instead they go down to two, which is probably really good for us. <clears throat> and now I think the only question is, do we play a second main phase Loxodon here? I don't think we do. I don't think we can afford to tap anything down. So that worked out nicely. That game looked pretty lost, and then we like battled back. So Baffling End, I think, will be good. <clears throat> that takes out their Adanto. Settle the Wreckage is probably good. What's bad in this matchup? The Vanguards are actually probably bad. And Lyra seems like it would be okay. You can see Loxodon's okay. coming out. Loxodon's a little bit awkward. <clears throat> so maybe does Shalai come in for the other two Loxodons, or do we just keep two? Yeah, let's put in Shalai. Let's go bigger. Let's go bigger and make them go home. Everyone in chat who maybe is a green-white master is free to offer me advice on how to sideboard, by the way. <clears throat> you all have to keep in mind that I am basically just like some washed up, like almost 34-year-old. Mulligan. Alright, this we can keep. Not, not very good, but we'll keep it. Let's see something good on top. No, I think we'll put this on the bottom. Ghost Truck says same. Feels good to be washed up though. Takes the pressure off. It's like, did you win? No, but it's okay. I'm washed. I'm over it. Though I will say playing a lot of arena has gotten me like and, and with this announcement of the esports stuff, has gotten me into thinking like it would be cool to try to climb ranked one month or two months and see if I can get close to qualifying. These, these earliest months are probably going to be the easiest ones. Hmm. <clears throat> so we need to draw like history of Benalia or something here. It'll make our Johnny on turn four good. History into untapped land into untapped land. Be sick. Well, they let their Adantos in. But it seems like the car a card that should come out. Correct me if I'm wrong though. It just feels like it's it's like. Mm. Doesn't really help you keep the board, doesn't do any blocking. It gets outsized. 
And there's enough lifelink on both sides of the board that it doesn't seem like it does too much. The Healer's Hawk was more effective from them in game one than the Adanto. All right, so I guess we're flowering. <clears throat> Nothing in the deck requires double green, right? Not even sapling migration. This one might be a loss, though. Our draw is just too slow. We mulliganed. If there is a saying for this channel, it is a... Uh, if there's a meme, it's this one might be a loss. I feel like I say it like by turn four of almost every game. Yeah, Azula Ball says they're delaying the patch because of the best of three backlash. Yeah, I think that's entirely it. But unfortunately, it's not so simple as just like pushing the patch, patch live without it. I don't think their code is... They have a candidate, like a patch candidate. It's like locked, so they can't just take it out. I would love if they went live with everything else but that today. It would be fun, but it'll probably be pushed until next week, and they'll back it, back out the changes to the events or come up with a new plan. I don't know. I guess we're just going to play this as a little bit of a distraction. See if they send some attackers at it. There's a reasonable shot that if we draw a land and play Lyra, they can't beat it because they're down to two cards. They have Resplendent Angel coming up, which is a little scary. So they could send everything at a Johnny. That buys us a turn. We get to pick off a token, gain two life. And we can like untap on Lyra or play Tristani. Just three. You got it. A little surprised that they were so conservative with that. <clears throat> now, if we draw land, we're in a six spot. So the question is. This does not have first strike, right? And I kind of think if they had tribunal, especially considering they're not attacking with these, they would have tribunal with the Johnny. So I'm just gonna jam Lyra here. Plus the Ajani. I'm, I'm guessing this is land, right? Because their plan would be to like resplend an angel and buff it up. Now, if they top deck a Conclave Tribunal, or if they faked us out and had it the whole time, I'll be pretty sad, but it looks like we're getting away with it. Let's hear it in the chat for getting away with it. Sorry, I'm not good at the Twitch thing. I'm usually just recording by myself at like 5 in the morning. Let's just pump these tokens up. <clears throat> I want to hold back. I don't want them to start making tokens. Well, I take it back. <clears throat> I'm 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 moving the advantage meter back to us here. I'm going from this might be a loss to I think we've I think we're in a decent spot. Convoke for seven is pretty big business though. Zoodle Ball says why are they pushing best of one? They get why it's that way in Hearthstone, but why magic? Well, my theory is, and I'm obviously repeating myself a little bit here, but my theory about this is that 
since best of one games complete quicker, it's going to give them a better idea of, well, first of all, it's the format that people play most, right? So that's the format they should service first. But it gives them a good idea of how to test uh, the reward structure. So I think that they're doing it in best of one first to kind of tune it and figure out how they're going to do it for best of three. I, I don't think that they're going to make best of one the competitive format. Though, honestly, I think it would be kind of cool if they did just say, you know what, best of one is the competitive format now. So how much can we, at least for Arena, to do like one Pro Tour style event that's best of one would be kind of cool to do. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can do our own march for seven next turn. We might as well make two tokens then. But I think I think that they're again, this is them having being bad at messaging, right? Which is a surprise to nobody. That they just need to say, like, we're starting with best of one because we want to test it, but they don't like saying that's why they're doing things. They did say, though, that the reward structure and all of that is a work in progress and that's going to change, but they need to be more more transparent and Watts is just not going to be transparent. All right, so we're going to start attacking next turn after we march. Our board's way bigger than theirs. The only thing that's scary is the Resplendent Angel. But we do need to put pressure on them because they are just one Conclave Tribunal away from <clears throat> taking over the game. So this is three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so it's still seven. Yeah. We didn't mess it up. So we can keep all the small ones behind and attack with the buff ones. Actually, they're all big. So we can just basically attack with everything. And we get to flip our land, which is sick. So we're going to gain so much life here that <clears throat> any crackback they get is not really that good. Now, if they have settled the wreckage, which maybe I should have thought about. Oh, I didn't think about this. So they're going to get a little freebie 5-5 five five here. It may not matter. Because they have to lose a lot of 1-1s. One but definitely I should have thought about it. And someone in my chat should have pointed it out. But there is a delay, so you know what? Forgiveness all around. So yeah, we get to clear the board, we get to gain a ton of life, and we make subsequent pushes <clears throat> even better. I think trading in a bunch of these 1-1s one for them to make a 5-5 five five is, or a 4-4 four four is not that important in the scheme of things. Just making sure that we have the wider board for the rest of the game. That's what matters. Oh, oops. No, I think it's okay. Crunch, 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 crunch. We're also like fairly close to ulting this Ajani. But we get to make a 2-2 every turn. <laughs> oh wow. car alarm just sounding off. I wonder if the mic picked it up. I couldn't tell. 
<clears throat> so I think we just keep plussing up lifelink tokens. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blockers. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we're just gonna keep doing the same thing here. Keep forcing them to produce tokens. For cash in their vanguards. Oh, and they don't have the mana to pump this, which is sick. Because they played an Adanto Vanguard. See, that was a mistake. Like, they want to pump this and block and make a 4 4 instead of making a 1 1 that can't block. So, we're benefiting from that. I guess that even last turn, considering the number of <clears throat> lifelink tokens they had to block with, they would have gotten a token no matter what. So, it wasn't that much of an error to attack. All right, so we'll let them, sit, let them sit back and do the math here. Our second main phase, we're going to make another 2-2 here, and then on their turn, we'll make another 2-2 here. We're going to go up to, like, a 1,000 life. All right. And they scoop it up. Wow. 2 0. Oh. Breaking even. Feels good. Didn't even see what card we got. Didn't matter. All right. Well, that's it for that round. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Please subscribe. We're, you know, I had a goal to get to 500 before the end of the year, and I think we're going to be short of it. But uh, probably we're going to be short of it by about 30 is my guess. I think we're going to get to around 470-ish. But in the last month, we've gone from averaging like close to five <clears throat> new subs a day down to more like two new subs a day. It's really trickled, really, really trickling in. And if you, you know, are a fan of the channel, even if you're here just for the laws, like this guy sucks, it would be cool just to grab a friend, say, hey, check this guy out, throw him a sub, it means a lot to him. He's got this like weird thing, he wants to grow his channel. So if you want to help me get to 500 by the end of the year, I'd really appreciate it. And I think I'll probably, you know, if we once we get there, I think I'll get a camera. So you all can see me, you can all can see Ichi. You can see the lovely couch that we just got that sits behind me. But yeah, that's that's my pitch. That's my my heartfelt appeal to help me grow the channel. So you can do that by subbing if you haven't already. And uh, you know what? Leave a comment, say you like it, say tell me what I did wrong, what I can do better. I enjoy that stuff. I'm pretty nice. That's it for this one. Uh, we'll be back again with the next round. Going for 3-0, so stay tuned.